Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 59 of Forgecraft. Hanging out with Mr. T-Love. How are you, T-Love? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Good. I'm collecting distilled water, sort of. Cool. I'm making an underground IE thing. You probably want to come and see it. Nice. That sounds neat. Um, I do want to see it. So literally all I did here... Up with steam. Sweet. Don't mind the explosions. explosions oh, I'm not. You. I'm not going near your explosions ever again after what happened last time. Dude, I literally just put down, like the thing, and yeah, like I don't understand. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're getting 200 ku. So this is producing 50 EU per tick. So that's what I would expect. Uh, I just put down another steam generator and it's like working. It's just like, yeah, I'm good. I'll work. I'm cool. Like no, no explosions. Everybody's groovy. Oh, wow. We have so a decent groovy. amount of iron over here. That's cool. Or, or, or distilled water. That's neat. 71 buckets. So cool. Can you sleep for me? Sure. So, I mean... I think this thing's pretty much working. Now, this will build up calcification, which, like I said, I'm not 100% sure of how to deal with. And we're using lava, obviously. So at some point, we'll run out of lava here. Um, obviously, making cans is no big deal to, like, dump out the Paho Paho stuff. Paho ho. But that Paho Paho pa -ho -ho. could be good liquid stuff. Yeah. But right now, like, everything's working the way it should be, which is cool. Um, the, the, the generator is working. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, the 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 heat's producing. We're producing 50 EU per tick, like I said. Um, and we're condensing and we're creating basically more distilled water, which is nice. So nice. Yeah. And so OP with that staff of yours. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I mean, like, I'm not using the staff right now, but yeah, it could be. I don't know why it exploded last episode at the end. I really don't. Like, there's no reason that that should have happened. As far as I can tell. It was funny. It was funny. It definitely was. Um, but, like, the whole steam process that I built is actually working really well. So that's cool. And I think once we have a sufficient amount of distilled water, like, we should be cool. And I don't know what happens when calcification reaches the max. I think the steam boiler just stops working, and we either have to break, replace it, or I don't know, to be honest with you, but we'll figure it out. But before we go any further, T Love has something to show me. Yes, over the main base. Is this the right place? Yes. All right, I'm at the new base. Go down below the energy area. Behind you. Hello. Hello. Oh, look at this fancy place. What do you got going on down here? I'm kind of just going on like an IE binge, just trying to set up some stuff to get it working. Neat. So basically what happens is you put the coal in here, then you get coal coke out, and then that gets transferred over here, and then that transfers down below to get turned into coal coke dust, which we'll use for the arc furnace. So I'm just kind of, you know, doing a lot of IE testing. Fancy. Um, I'm the also creosote oil is not pumping out of the left coke oven. Well, it's because the the um the tank the is full? tank is full. Cool. How can you tell what's in the tank? Well, brown color. <laughs> oh, brown line in the middle. Okay, so that just thing in the middle there indicates yeah. the fullness. Yeah, and that's There's just no... the tank for now. I'm making a specific tank room for all the fluids that we're gonna have over down here. So this is gonna be kind of like an IE level type of thing, and then we're gonna have access to all the liquids. Neat. It's quite nice. That's fancy. And then down here, what's this going to be? Uh, this is the tank right here. And then down there is going to be like assembly, like auto crafting stuff. Things that we that are a little ridiculous to make. We're gonna I'm going to try to see if I can auto craft them. And then the IE press room is going to get presses a lot faster. That's cool. So just a lot of a lot of automating of things that would be otherwise silly. Right. 
But we're I just see about uh, to hit hall with relays and wires still aren't rendering too well. Nope. <laughs> Poor blue. Sorry, blue. Not really sorry. That's cool, though. I like it. Thanks. Neat. Okay. And uh, obviously our power gen... So we haven't had any power problems as far as I know, right? Like, we're totally groovy on power. There's a creeper yeah, inside are. our base. Oh, you need to get some of those um, Nanzus, just so we're not worried about creepers blowing up near you. Or we could just set up that aversion thingy. Or that. Oh, no! Got him. No, yeah, no blowing up. Yeah, I think aversion would be nice. Might not be a bad idea. I mean, it should not be a problem. I mean, power should be super not a problem for us right now, so... Okay. Um, how about an IC2 area for me? Uh, like an IC2 area for you to build things? Yeah. I might have to make a fourth level, but what IC2 are you building? I thought you wanted, like, a nuclear sub or something like that. Oh, yeah, I haven't gotten around to that. Uh, okay. Still, I haven't. I've just been focusing on one thing at a time. I'm a slow player. I'm not fast at building it's all everything. Good. All it's all once. good. No worries. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't ready yet. Because I will either work on this steam boiler thing over at the old base. and Because I want to get you that yeah. EU matter that you wanted so you could have your quantum yeah. suit. Because you kind of indicated you I, wanted that. I want quantum suit. I know. That's what I'm working towards. You're doing a fantastic job. I mean, I'm not. Because you don't even have, like... You don't even know how long EU matter is going to take to make. Well, we got plenty of time, so it's okay. Yeah. I don't know what we do. Explosions occurring over here. What's happening? Oh. Yeah, there might be some explosions happening. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm minding. I fixed it. fixed no more explosions though to be fair i should probably like turn that off and we should stop having lava flowing in so that's actually using lava at a pretty slow pace am i not wrong about that okay Is right it supposed okay. to be well no no I, I remember now like so basically we're only doing we're really only using one heat exchanger because we're doing regular water, not distilled and superheated steam. Neat. Input 100 heat units with that. Cool. So that'll burn out all the lava. Neat. Right. Um, and this will stop production of EU, EU, and that happens, and then we've got some distilled water going on. Cool. All right, so what should I do next? So I think the next thing I will try is to do this with distilled water in a closed system. So I think I'm going to want a second steam boiler and a second steam turbine, I believe. So this should be 221 bars at one millibucket per tick. That's what you want to configure it to if you want that. All right, let me... I don't know if there's a way to pull out all this water. I think I'll just wrench it. And that'll also tell us, by the way. Okay. That reset the calcification. Cool. So we're going to configure you. Never active. We're going to configure. So you should just be chilling. So one millibucket per tick. 221. No calcification. That's cool. 
Um, that's a universal fluid cell of water. Can I get distilled water in bucket form? Uh, there's distilled water in can form. So this is steam. Let's put that away and get a new tank. Let's get a new new one. Not that kind, this kind. Pull. Nice. Cool. And then we should be able to get a perfect couple cans of distilled water. Okay, that was just a rendering bug, I presume. All right, and then we'll push this back over here. The reason I wanted that is so that I can filter, right? So now the way we're gonna configure this is that the insert here will not be regular water, but distilled water will be allowed to go in. You will still get lava. And this, I'll turn you off for a minute, never active, because I want to see it. Sh so what I expect to happen would be superheated steam goes in here, and I don't know if it's going to be distilled water that collects inside or regular steam. We're going to have to test that. Um, but for now, distilled water should be the only thing allowed in here. Let's put this guy here. Would you mind sleeping for me, Mr. T-Love? Of course I mind. I'll be there in a second. Yay. What I'm going to do... Pull. These guys aren't refreshing unless you close and reopen. I better report that. I want to get like about 10 buckets worth. That should be good enough. Yeah, that's cool. Because I want to see if we can build a closed system. And I think I can. Um, and how are you for lava, by the way? 141 buckets worth, we're good there. I'm gonna put all this pahoho lava away. Probably going to wind up voiding those eventually. All right, so if I configure you, extract always active, that should fill this dude up with distilled water. Good. I'm going to configure you to active with signal so that no more water will go in. So then we need to heat these up and superheated steam should start making its way over here. So let's allow lava to extract again. That should build up heat. Let's come back in a minute once that's done building up heat. All right, guys, 374 degrees C is the temperature at which we will start producing superheated steam. So let's see what happens. Hot steam. Now you're going to fill up with superheated steam. Very cool. All right. And then, um, So we're back, and I've disabled the lava. Let's just stop doing the explosion. Oh, so disabling the lava was the lava was doing it? No, no, no. I just turned off the the thing at the moment. Um, so you are going to be allowed to extract now superheated steam in addition to regular steam. You are going to be allowed to insert superheated steam. And then.
400 KU. Nice. We're producing 100 EU per tick. Now, in Very here nice. is distilled water. So then we want to connect probably... I should be using Ender IO conduit, the, the Ender conduits for this, but... Now, are you producing steam anywhere? I expected this to produce steam somewhere. That's insert only. You are... So you know what I could do? Set this guy to in and out. Always active distilled water. You can extract distilled water and you will be never active, nor will you. So then we should start seeing distilled water go back in there maybe. All right, guys, we're back. Just realized uh, this needs to be always active. So that should drain that out. Nice. Okay, and there's steam up in the condenser. Got it. Cool. So steam is showing up here. That's what I would expect because the output of the steam turbine will also have steam. So then we're producing steam and our distilled water is kind of going back here. Yeah. So this should be a relatively closed system. This steam will also turn into distilled water. So let's turn off the lava again, and I'm going to produce... I moved this. And I uh, nobody's closing the rear, right? Uh, I mean, probably not. <laughs> Turning off nice. the lava, Remember? and... Time. Now I just need to get the steam into another set of steam turbine condenser kinetic generator. Cool. So... Let me make those and we'll be right back. And these are no longer needed now because they're no longer needed. All right, guys, we're back. And I think I've got everything I need now. Oh, sleep. Can you sleep for me, T-Love? Are you on it? sir. Very kind. So we will want this dude this way again, um, but wrench him this way, right? Yeah, I think that's right. And then the condenser here. And then the kinetic generator. Oh, can you pop that down for me? Oh. That way, I believe. Cool. Ender conduits. Cool. So again, we will basically want this and this. Um, you will insert steam. Where's my steam? Thought I had a steam cell somewhere. All right, now to play the fluid tank game. Which one of you has steam in you? Ethanol. You can just put that back in the thing. Plant oil. Plant oil. Steam, nice. So this one will insert steam and extract always active distilled water. And you will extract always active distilled water okay and then if i put this conduit here all oh, right i need the steam thingy this is empty this is cool steam turbine blade
Okay. Okay. And this goes in here. So how much distilled water do you have? Let's try and fill that back up. So your heat level is maintained, which is cool. Um, let's configure you to always active extract. That should fill up 96, 76, close enough to full. You're empty now, right? Okay. Let's let lava flow again and see what happens. So you are now producing hot steam. You are running at 400 KU. You are producing steam. And you are doing nothing. So I might need to configure you to output steam as well as distilled water. Correct. So many steps just for energy. I know, right? I imagine that you should output steam now. This guy can also export steam. So we have steam sitting in our condenser. You know what? Maybe you should not be allowed to insert steam. You not allowed to insert steam. You must be getting it directly from the steam turbine, aren't you? Because you're fluid ejector upgrading to the north side. If I remove that, do you stop getting steam? 1400 steam. So much steam. You're still getting it. So what if I'm... Hmm, no, I don't want to... Do I remove this condenser maybe? I want to make sure that you're extracting steam. I'm going to try removing the condenser here. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay. Relax. Nobody panic. All right. Not like, oh, no. Nope. Nope. Nobody panic. This is normal. Oh, it's so yeah. Until someone blows up. For real. See, it's calm now. It's calm. It's cool. It's cool. So you're extracting steam. Always active whitelist. You're extracting steam. You are inserting steam. And extracting distilled water. And you are extracting. Yeah, I don't know why steam is not going in here. I would expect it to. I really, really would. Um, so let's come back in a minute. I might want to just move these next to each other. That might not be a bad idea. Um, so what if I did that? I might need a new wrench. This is dangerous dire wire we're working with here. Ain't that the truth. It's probably the most dangerous I've seen us do anything because the explosions are really real here. So that's the kinetic, this is the condenser, and this is the steam turbine. Oh, nice. Okay, that's something that's happening good now. So you should be in out. Insert will be steam, just in case, but I think it's automatically going in. Extract, always active, distilled water. And you. Extract, always active, distilled water. Cool. 
So you're active producing 100 EU per tick. You are still getting steam. I would rather you not. run out of cans here we did all right let's come back in a minute let me figure this out all right we're back I'm gonna try and remove this condenser again maybe that's the issue I think that was it I think we're cool now okay cool so this is 400 this is 200 and this is producing distilled water awesome That is neat. All right, T Love, it's working. Is it really working? Yeah. This is the part where things blow up. No, I'm not having any explosions yet. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're totally generating. So this is making 150 EU per tick. So this is the configuration you want: a steam turbine touching another steam turbine, each touching kinetic generators, the back one touching the condenser. That makes sense to me. You know, I thought the condenser here was required, but I guess it's not. So only one condenser is really needed. So this makes 150 EU per tick, right? This setup right here. But next we can ramp this up and have like four or five times as much. So we're gonna need like several sets of these so we're going to, like, this is the configuration that we're going to want to duplicate. And instead of this, the heat exchanger is going into the steam boiler. We're going to want basically heat from the reactor going into the steam boiler. Cool. All right. So let's come back in a minute once I think that through. Also, guys, for the record, this has been running for a while now, and we still have nine buckets of distilled water in here. So that's a thing awesome thing I just turned off our lava production by the way little explosions don't there mind them uh, I'm minding it it's okay they're fake explosions they're just you know explosions um cool so just wanted to note that distilled water behavior is good um let's come back in a minute here once I figure out what I'm gonna do all right, guys, so we've got a functional steam generation system, 150 EU per tick, which is actually really good, running off of lava, which ain't bad, and we can auto-generate as much as we want, um, pretty much because of, you know, blood magic. magic. Uh, even though right now it's not producing more LP, I'm going to have to go investigate that. I want to say it's because the chunks aren't loaded. If I fly over here, are we producing LP right now? 71,496. What's going on down here? Huh. Yeah, mobs aren't spawning in uh, Cursed Earth at all. That's neat. I'm going to restart the server. Maybe that'll fix it. But I'll do that off camera. For now, Devil20 signing off. Um, I'm thinking what we'll do, T Love, is next episode work on that uh, steam generator thing. That's uranium okay. based, like the heat generator, the the heat based uranium nuclear reactor dude. And then um, we'll be making even more, like because the nuclear reactor we have right now makes like 360 RF a tick. I think that one's mm -hmm. going to be like over a thousand RF or EU per tick. So that should be lots and lots and lots of awesomeness for us. Um, but like I said, wrapping up point. So Daryl Twenty signing off. Hope you liked the episode. Take it easy.